This is a low power magnification of squamous cells. They have been scraped from the inside of the cheek and laid on a slide. Um, you can't really see them too clearly, but you can get a sense of the fact that there is a cytoplasm region um, with a nucleus right in the center. And the tip of the pointer is on the cytoplasm, now it's on the nucleus. This is low power, and it, like I said, it's hard to see individually. We'll go to um, high power, and we'll be able to see these more clearly as squamous cells. On high power, we see cells that look sort of like fried eggs. We can see a cytoplasmic region, and we can also see a nucleus in the center. And you can see the tip of the pointer pointing right to the nucleus. These don't look like flat cells because they aren't a flat in appearance until you look at them laterally. When you look at them from the side, you um, are looking at a very flat cell. We are right now viewing them from either above or below the cell. In a moment, we'll be looking at the same type of cell. However, we'll be looking at them from the lateral view, and they really will appear flat to our eyes then. On the slide that is marked kidney in your slide box, you're going to see on high power a structure that appears very different from the surrounding tissue. There is a space, a crescent, that appears clear on the left um, of this structure, and that crescent is lined by very flat cells, simple squamous epithelium. The tip of the pointer is just above a black dot. That black dot is the nucleus of a simple squamous cell. Really, it's the only hint of uh, the cell there. And now it's pointing to another nucleus from another squamous cell. There is a layer of tissue that lines this crescent. Um, they have a, a very flat appearance from a lateral view. We are looking at a lateral view of simple squamous epithelium. The next slide contains an artery, a vein, and a nerve cut in cross section. The two structures that have lumina are the artery and the vein. The tip of the pointer is in the lumen of the vein, now in the artery. Um, over to the right, we see a nerve cut in cross section. The tip of the pointer is in the lumen of an artery. Um, you can see above the tip of the pointer a squiggly pink line. That squiggly pink line is a modified basement lamina. You can see that squiggly pink line. There are uh, nuclei of epithelial cells between the squiggly pink line and the lumen. That is a layer of simple squamous epithelium. In this cross-section of an artery, you can actually see a number of nuclei between the basement lamina and the lumina. The pointer will um, point to some of those and give you a sense of that layer of simple squamous epithelium. Very thin, you can only see the nuclei because the cell... Now we'll slide over and take a look at the lumen of a vein. We're actually seeing a cross-section of a vein. The tip of the pointer is in the lumen, and you can see on either side um, black dots, which are the nuclei of simple squamous cells of the epithelium lining the um, vein. We don't see the squiggly pink line. The basement lamina is present, but it is not modified and thickened.